good happy friday morning to you good happy friday morning to you how's everybody it's friday morning we're off and running aren't we olivia yep and olivia is eating a delicious bowl of hot cereal is it good you really think so now that's saying something because you know these girls i was making crock pot cereals kind of on a regular basis and they were like Ugh. But now I'm, t I'm getting more of a positive um, affirmation of these cereals lately. So that's a good thing. So let me show you what I did though um, with the breakfast this morning. If you, if, if you were watching yesterday's video, um, you would see at the end of the video, I was showing you how I put a bunch of grains in the crock pot and um, we cooked these overnight and we made the crock pot cereal. So we have quinoa, not quinoa, millet, steel cut oats and spelt in here this morning so i put different grains in here every time i do this and kind of switch it up you can also add um, when you're putting it in the crock pot at night um, some coconut shredded coconut or even some some coriander cardamom we do some of that sometimes and um, raisins so i have raisins in here or any other kind of dried fruit chopped dried apricots goji berries cranberries whatever you want to add to that I'm gonna have a banana and a pear. Should I go? You should go. Are you leaving us? Mm. Going, going to work. work. I owe, I owe, so off to work I go. Here are the pinto beans that I soaked last night. If you guys um, saw our video, yesterday's video, you would see that I was soaking pinto beans. And if not, if you haven't seen the video, you might want to go look at it. But anyways, um, this is the continuation video of yesterday's video because I soaked these beans last night and now I'm going to drain the water and add more water to it and we're gonna get these cooked up. So Olivia devoured the homemade hummus yesterday. <laughs> She's not the only one, but we ate it up. So um, I'm going to I'm going to thaw some garbanzos that I cooked the other day, and we're going to make some more hummus today. So after breakfast, our um, daily thing is to do the wordle, the quirtle, the weaver, the anti-wordle, the anti. Wordle, yeah, the, waffle, the, waffle, the waffle, and anything else that we can come up with, but hopefully we'll get it done in no time because we need to get rolling today, Missy. Yeah. You girls think it's like summertime or something? Yeah. Hmm. So, um, you don't have anything else to do? Nope. <laughs> Enjoying summertime? It's hot outside, so I'm gonna let you guys play inside. What did you say? It was like almost Eight. 90 degrees already, right? Yeah, we went outside and we started walking. Yeah. So you tried to walk for a long walk, right? That didn't yeah. happen. Nope. So now we're playing Legos instead. So I just got done cleaning up Grandpa. I call him Grandpa because it's the kid's grandfather. It's Curtis's dad. He's been living with us for the past three years now. And um, so I just cleaned him up, get him ready for the day. I usually do it before breakfast, but he got up early this morning. He got his breakfast early. So I am just finishing that. His nurse is coming here shortly to check on him. He wasn't doing very well back in the winter. He got sick. Um, he had pneumonia and he really wasn't, wasn't improving. He got pneumonia and improved a little bit and then he got sick again. So she comes just to check up on him once a week to make sure he's doing well. So she should be coming today. I am going to check on these beans. They're looking good. They're about done. They've been cooking for a couple of hours, but I think uh, I think pintos they they need a good two hours of cooking, and I think they're looking pretty good. What do you think, Olivia? Mm -hmm.
favorite spot. How's it going? Good. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you. I'm going to make more hummus. Olivia, yours must have just been really good yesterday. Olivia made it yesterday, so I'm going to try to duplicate her um, delicious hummus. So I have the garbanzos that I thawed. Some of it's not really thawed. You see a little bit of frozen there. And this time I'm going to use sesame seeds that I already have. So I'm going to put some sesame seeds in there. Usually you use tahini. People use tahini to make uh, hummus. But we have so many sesame seeds that I've just been throwing them in there like that. Sesame tahini, whoa, that might be too much. Sesame tahini is like peanut butter. It's like a butter, like ground the sesame seeds and turn it into a butter. So I'm just gonna use the sesame seeds that I have. So I have that and then I'm gonna put some lemon juice in there. Organic, no preservatives, nothing but lemons, lemon juice. No, this is for tomorrow, pumpkin, for Sabbath. Olivia says hummus on haystacks. Ew, daddy would probably do something like that. I don't know. We're gonna put a teaspoon. I actually measure the salt because I'm never right on with the salt. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon and a half. And that's about two cups of garbanzos, by the way. Just to let you know. I measured them before I froze them. And we're gonna whisk it up. taste delicious. So I'm gonna pop this puppy in the refrigerator and we'll have some for the next several days, hopefully. I make all the time with it. No, you I always eat it. I eat it, but it has this weird... I almost forgot I've got to get rice on, so I am going to do that right now. So I wrote down on my jar, brown basmati rice is a family favorite. Olivia, is it still for you? No. So we're gonna do two cups of that. Before I add any water to this, I am going to heat it up. Just heat the rice up dry. Wait till it pops. Olivia's at it again with the tomatoes. Are you making salsa then, Olivia? I don't know. I am going to whip up some cashew sour cream. Usually I use one cup of cashews, but I only have a half a cup, not even barely half a cup in there. So I'm gonna use half cup cashews. It's usually a teaspoon and a half of salt, but I guess I'm just going to do like three quarters of a teaspoon. This is half the recipe. So you see how they're popping there? Little pieces popping. We're going to add four cups of water to that. We're going to let that come to a boil. And then we'll cover it, put it on low and cover it for a little while. So Catherine, she heated up the um, the cashews in the water in the soft pan, which she's already done that and got it in a bowl here and she's putting um, three tablespoons of lemon juice in there. I'm going to put some tomato, strained tomatoes in here, a little bit. Yeah. A teaspoon of oregano, yeah. teaspoon of cumin, oopsie, About a tablespoon of salt. So I got the um, cilantro in here now, and I'm fighting with the washing machine for you to hear me. All right, so I might have had a little too much water in there. <laughs> but it's still delicious. And I think the rice will help us um, make up for that. So, uh, Ron's nurse came at lunchtime. <laughs> That's just the way it falls. And the girls were hungry, so they started eating. And I had this all set up nice for you, but they had to eat. 
So anyways, um, we have the cashew mayo, salsa, we have the guacamole. I cut up these cucumbers just because I wanted to. We don't generally put those on haystacks. Spring mix, and um, there is my dish. I've got the pinto beans and the rice underneath. Oh, I didn't put any, I didn't put the avocado on there. Hold on a second, let's see what oh, no. No avocado. Oh, it's some avocado on there. Guacamole. Well, it's actually avocado. It was guacamole when Olivia made it, but then we kind of ran out. So um, Caroline put another avocado in there. So it's really just avocado. And a little cashew sour cream. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. You want my So I just took a trip to Food Lion and I wanted to do a grocery haul showing you what we got, but then I forgot to do it. Oh well, we'll do it next time, guys. I'm gonna really work on that. So I've got some tomatoes, so and I've got lots of uh, basil out in the flower pot out there. So I think tomorrow we'll do some more bruschetta for Sabbath. I've got homemade hummus, so good. Hummus and this tomato basil is so good. You guys, it is hot out here. I think more humid because the clouds are here and looks like it's gonna rain. But I'm gonna, I'm just putting a box away in the garage, trying to clean up, do last minute clean up before we have the Sabbath. So Fridays, those of you who don't know us, I say that a lot lately, cause I'm like coming back, you know, and maybe there's some new people watching. But Fridays, we get ready for the Sabbath, which starts on sundown, at sundown Friday, and then we go all the way through. We keep the Sabbath all the way through till sundown on Saturday night. So what we do is just make sure our house is prepared, our food is prepared, the house is clean, the plants are watered, which I'm wondering if I should do that. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit and see if it won't actually rain, because it seems like it's going to rain. She's looking like she wants to be out here with us. Our house looks like it's pretty decent. What do you I think, Sable? Close. Is it okay? She doesn't want to see Sable. He's coming toward me. He doesn't want to see Sable. All right, so I think that's it then. Good, happy Sabbath afternoon to you. Um, how's everybody? How's everybody? You guys, I remember last night, I actually remembered this morning when I woke up that I never ended the day with you last night. So I figured I'm gonna make this a two day vlog. And I'm not gonna really, um, actually I'm not gonna really vlog too much right now, but I wanted to show you what we do on the Sabbath day when it's really nice. And because we're in Virginia and there's lots of places to go. We are at White Oak Canyon. Low, we're going to the lower falls on a hike. Enjoying a beautiful day. Right, pumpkin? Right. Right. We saw somebody stacked up some rocks over there. I'm glad you didn't knock them down, Caroline. Well, apparently they're like really bad for the environment and it's not good to make them. Because oh, they mess with natural ecosystems. Really? For real? Yeah, I watched a whole video on it. Actually, oh. a whole account on it. Did you really? Yeah. Thank you, Olivia, thank you for sharing. I did not know that. Thank you, Kate. And then second off. Tell us first like, off what happens? They can distract people like a, a trail marker, like they can oh, go the wrong okay. direction. And uh -huh. then second off, like the way the rocks are positioned, it's like a natural ecosystem. And when you like move them all around, it messes things up and they can fall on small animals and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's not stack up the rocks when we're hiking then, right? Well, Mommy, can I take it over? No, leave it.
What a wonderful busy day. Now it's time to go to bed and it is late again. And Curtis is up burning the midnight oil. We've been having some time together anyways and enjoying a little bit of time hanging out. But um, I'm gonna hit the hay. You guys have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever time it is where you are. And don't forget to Live well and be strong. Adios.